right, uh, it's hot, it is humid. Yes, it it's is. It's the middle of July. We would expect nothing less than what we have out there right now. Although I could tell you, I'd like a little bit cooler air. Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, uh, this is what it looks like. A great day to head to the beach. You may see a stray shower later on. And then here is uh, National Harbor looking toward the Wilson Bridge in Old Town, Alexandria. It is quiet and dry out there right now. If you do have plans to go to the Delmarva Beaches, highs today around 90, upper 80s tomorrow. And then Wednesday, looking at temperatures just around 84 degrees. Surf temperature is in the middle 70s. This hour, already at that 90 degree mark in Leesburg and Reagan National. 89 to Manassas, 89 in Culpeper, 82 Winchester. Feels like temperatures, it feels like anywhere between about 95 and 100, at least close into the Capitol Beltway and just off toward the south and west of us. Stormwatch 7 satellite and radar does show a few showers trying to trickle in around the Luray area in Culpeper. I don't suspect it's going to amount to a whole lot, at least not over the next hour or so. Temperatures for this afternoon will make it well into the 90s, if not even hotter than that, especially out in, I should say downtown DC with all of the concrete where it feels like temperatures will likely feel around 100 to 105. Here's our future cast as we do move through the afternoon hours. Notice showers just off to the west of us. They will not last very long. If you should find one over your neighborhood, they are going to be hit or miss. That means not everyone will see one. However, if you do have plans for this afternoon, keep a watchful eye to the sky. Always a good time to download your Stormwatch 7 weather app. Stay ahead of the next big weather maker. Here's our forecast for the home run derby later on today, looking at temperatures that are going to be well, well into the lower 90s. Seventh inning stretch at around 87 degrees, 85 by the time you head home. It will stay hot and it will stay humid out there for tonight. It's going to be sticky. If you have the luxury of keeping the AC on tonight is the night to do it. 72 to 8 degrees for your overnight lows. Low temperatures inside the beltway just around 80 degrees or so. So that means a very sticky start waking up early tomorrow morning, although it's not going to be as hot for tomorrow afternoon. Now tomorrow our forecast does show highs upper 80s to close to 90 degrees. Showers and thunderstorms as we move through the afternoon hours. Some may contain some gusty winds, some heavier downpours. But right now, it appears the timing is that we will get most, if not all, of this out of here by the time the game starts at around 7.30 tomorrow evening. Temperatures for tomorrow evening will be in the 80s. Once again, the bulk of those storms out of here by game time. And as we look at our future cast, this just updated. Notice 12 noon tomorrow off to the north and west of us. That's where the showers and the thunderstorms are located. This line moves on through 5 p.m. Could make for a tricky rush hour commute. And then everything finally moves on out of here as they move through the later evening hours. Here's a look at our forecast the next seven days, and I promise you we have a little bit cooler air on the way, although more typical for this time of year. 95 today, 90 degrees on Tuesday, upper 80s on Wednesday. As we move into Thursday and Friday, it looks really nice. A lot of sunshine, not terribly humid. Temperatures will be in the upper 80s with nighttime lows ranging from the upper 60s to lower 70s. But today, definitely the hottest of the next seven we just need to get those thunderstorms and showers out of the way for tomorrow evening. No one wants to see a rain delay for a game like that. I agree. All right, thanks, Steve. Mm -hmm. Well, traffic, of course, is, is expected to be very heavy tonight with all the all-star festivities. Carlos Ramirez with a look at the roads. Hey, Carlos. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, plenty expected headed uh, out over towards uh, Nats Park. Now, I had the camera pointed towards the road, but they changed it up for me. So let's go over to 395. Uh, northbound side, we got a construction zone near uh, Duke Street. Looks like one left lane is going to be blocked there. You can see over on the far left side that uh, not a lot of traffic getting by over there. But uh, traffic is flowing, thankfully. Not a lot of volume on the road, so that's caused too much trouble. If you are headed into the district for the All-Star Game later today, you are going to see fairly light volume. This is much better than what we're uh, accustomed to across the 14th Street Bridge, and it's basically going to look like this as you make your way over towards the 3rd Street Tunnel. Elsewhere on the southbound side of 95, look at this. This is uh, your usual delays between uh, Route 1 down towards 123. Past this point, you're basically up to speed until you get down near Garrisonville Road, headed down towards the Fredericksburg area, and even so, not running too bad. 66 near Nutley Street earlier, we were dealing with a crash scene there, but everything running up to speed once again. In a loop of the Beltway looks great as you make your way past Gallows Road up towards the American Legion Bridge. You see that disabled vehicle over on the far right there, not causing you any issues. And one quick look at the outer loop of the Beltway where we were also dealing with an accident scene even just 15 minutes ago. We were jam-packed here. No longer the case. All running nicely as you head over towards 270. More ABC News after this.
Take a look at overflowing gutters. Now think about this. The overflowing gutters can damage your door jam, and you may have to replace your door. Eliminate damage to your home. The dangers of climbing a ladder and cleaning out the gutters with LeafGuard, the gutter that never clogs, guaranteed. Take advantage of these great savings right now. 59 down, 59 a month, LeafGuard on your home. You get a bonus with purchase, plus if you call during this program, you get a $50 dining advantage gift card, good for discounts on dining, shopping, and entertainment. LeafGuard, get it and forget it. Did you break in your mom's house? Hot bench. Call my plumber today and get your AC system checked for just $49. Our tune-ups are guaranteed all season long or your money back. We're one call away and there the same day. Call 8664 my plumber today. You might take something for your heart.